What's going on everybody? Welcome to Command and Console. My name is Jason. Today, you can see it on the screen right there, we are starting the very first hunt for Project PS2. I'm really excited about this episode, guys. I'm gonna be hitting the charity shops, CEX, and we're gonna see what we can find. Before we start on our journey for Project PS2, I just wanna talk about, I picked up this PS2 component cable set. I was looking for something a bit more, kind of give my image quality a boost for my PS2. And yes, um, I saw a video on the internet saying, just get some component cables and uh, switch your settings on the PS2 from RGB to component. And it should boost the resolution a little bit and give you a bit of a cleaner image, which is nice. And these have worked quite wonderfully on this really old HD TV I have. Uh, I don't think I've seen a PS2 look as good as this. Let's go on to the hunt for PS2 games. The crated collection is beckoning. So we've come into our local Sense charity shop and they don't have many in terms of PS2 or games in general, but we did find Burnout 2 Point of Impact, which is cool to see in a charity shop, to be fair, for £1.50. Ain't too bad. They also had Battlefield 4, Definitely not a PS2 game, so it's not something I'll pick up because I feel like that's a game that we pretty much could get anywhere at any price. I think it's on Game Pass on Xbox anyway, so yeah, a bit slim pickings in sense, unfortunately. They did have uh, Warhammer 40,000 Fire Warrior, but unfortunately the disc was just ripped to shreds. As you can see here in this remaining of the footage, it's mostly a smorgasbord of DVDs. Uh, I mean, if you want to build a, you know, DVD created collection, charity shops are very much a very good starting point because you can get a lot for very little and there's tons here, absolutely tons of DVDs. I'm always on the lookout for DVDs as well because you never know whether something will be worth more than what you actually expect. So always look out for DVDs. Get the films and games you want from Six. It's called Six, you dick. That's right, we're in our first of two CX stops in this video. Uh, yeah, this one is not my directly local one, but it's it's the better of the two stores. Uh, as you can see in the footage, they got tons of PS2 games right where we want to be, actually, the, with the you know Project PS2 created collection. They have some really good titles here, like really good titles. The Punisher there is one of the titles I really want for the created collection. Got quite a very a rare one there with Resident Evil Dead Aim. That's a pretty one well, you don't really see very often. Resident Evil 4 is everywhere, so I don't know why I looked at that for. But yeah, you just got to get stuck in and have a look. Soul Reaver 2, I almost picked that up for the created collection, but it didn't have a manual. So I kind of passed on that, unfortunately. Yeah, loads there. Simpsons game is pretty fun. Underrated one, actually, the Simpsons game. I really enjoyed that one. Times Players, that is on the list, guys. That is on the list, but I... Decided to pass on it for now because it is a very uh, common game. As we uh, headed to the second CEX location for this video, I had a look in the front window because I always like to see what they have in the front window. And I found this absolute beauty. And it is the Game Boy Disney's DuckTales. And it was boxed complete. The box looks absolutely immaculate. And I almost pulled the trigger on this, guys, because... This is probably the most nostalgic Game Boy game in my whole memory because I think it was one of the first Game Boy games I had. I think it came with the with the with the uh, handheld when I was younger. But yeah, seeing this in the box brought back all the warm and fuzzy feelings of nostalgia. Right, we've come to the second CEX location. Uh, this one is not as good as the previous one, but I actually was surprised that this time they had some big big hitters you saw there dragon ball z Dokai 3 that's one on the list that i'm dying to get at some point it was about 12 quid i believe and i love this because you never know what you're going to find here and i love the fact that we've got some from software games on ps2 uh, before elden ring before dark souls there's two titles here evergrace what was the other one eternal ring they are they they intrigue me they really do like to, to check out some of the old, the older from software titles. Really does, 
uh, intrigued me. Of course, they did like stuff like Armored Core and stuff like that. The Mark of Kree, I believe that is a title on the uh, Creator Collection. I, I never remember. Dragon Dexter is a great series, just not one that I'm dying to own. Before we head back, it's always good to look in the glass cabinet of dreams with all their retro PlayStation 1 games, some Dreamcast games as well. Bushido Blade is a game that I'm really tempted to pick up at some point. And there is the elusive Silent Hill. 90 quid though. Why are these games so expensive, guys? What has happened in the last 10 or so years to make these games unbearably expensive? And we are back in the games room, I suppose. I don't know, it's just a room, isn't it? So yeah, I think we had a very, very successful day out there hunting for uh, the Creative Collection Project PS2. Uh, that was the focus for today. I have picked up other things for other consoles. They'll be coming up in future episodes for sure. But yeah, Project PS2 was the name of the game today. And I'm really happy that I've crossed off uh, a good few titles off the list today. Really happy about it. Let's get into what I have picked up off the list. So as you saw in the footage, I went to my local Sense charity shop just to see what they have. They usually have some video games for, uh, for the most part, but usually it's just the generic stuff like FIFAs and Maddens and the usual just rubbish, basically. All the basically games that are just worth nothing or you can't play anymore, like Destiny and stuff like that. But I found Burnout 2 point of impact i'm a massive burnout fan and this trilogy of games was definitely one i had to add on to the to the creative collection list because i needed to have these burnout 2 is such a bang up to um burnout 2 is such a great uh, step up from the original game and uh, i feel it, it led the way to like what i think is the pinnacle of the series in burnout 3 but yeah that is burnout 2 a point of impact Going on with the burnout theme, we went to my local uh, CEX and we found, basically to complete the burnout trilogy, we found the burnout. Uh, again, these are all complete in box as well, I forgot to mention. Complete in box, in very good condition. I always check conditions, uh, be it charity shops or CEX, because um, I feel like charity shops have no clue what they've got and you can find some really just horrible shit and you're like how the hell do they have that on the shelf in that condition it's ridiculous it's ridiculous and with cx it's usually hit and miss usually they everyone's got a different opinion on what is a what is good condition so always check the discs when you buy them from either charity shops or cx but yeah burnout one in great condition complete in box and to finish the trilogy off we have burnout three takedown uh just an ocd thing by the way guys these are all um these are all platinum, uh, the, the, plat the platinum, uh, the releases. Um, I knew, I knew just from my own sanity that when we, when we originally, when we, when I picked up Burnout 2, which is the first one I got in this trilogy, I knew that the other two will have to be the platinum versions because they'll all match and they'll look wonderful. So they do. So there we go. Those are the first three games off of the Create Collection. We can cross off the list. That is the Burnout trilogy. So Burnout is done. Really happy about it. Love these games. So next up we went to my local comic book shop. Uh, they don't really cater for video games per se. They might have a little selection here and there. Um, but on this occasion they had two titles that I was dying to have. So the first title is not on the created collection. It's not on Project PS2 but it was a title that I'm surprised didn't make it on my list because I forgot it even came out and I love both these games and that is MDK2. Uh, love this game. This was a must buy for me when I saw it. It is complete in box as well. I had to own this uh, in my PS2 collection. Not just, you know, you, I could add this onto the crate collection and it could be a part of that list, but it doesn't matter. Um, eventually, I'm going to pick up games that are not necessarily on the list, but I'm going to discover games that I've forgotten were on these systems. So MDK2 was a must buy. This was £5. Uh, I think it's a great price for this game. This is a fun little game, guys. If you've not played MDK or MDK2, they're really just silly just fun action games made by Interplay, the guys who brought you Earthworm Jim. Uh, very, very cool game. 
very happy to add it to the PS2 collection. Not on the crate collection, but just an, uh, an extra that I just I couldn't leave it behind. The next game from the same comic book shop is a game on the list that I'm really happy I got it. Um, the the owner originally had this priced at fourteen pounds, and he was very very generous, and he reduced it for me to ten pounds, and that is the survival horror game on a boat called Fear. I don't know um, if people are aware of this game that much because I think this is quite a, quite an overlooked game in my opinion. I think it was very very much uh, had that stigma of a Resident Evil Four ripoff when it came out um, but I feel like it's a really good game uh, maybe not on the par or quality of Resident Evil 4 but it's got that kind of different vibe to it and it scared the life out of me when I was younger by playing this game um, it, it has this weird kind of seasickness vibe to it where you've got the kind of the sway into the boat and uh, yeah um, really really fun game I, I loved it. It's, it's pretty much Resident Evil 4 on a boat. It's really good. I really recommend this one. But £10 though, complete inbox. Again, the offer was very generous and I couldn't leave it behind in the comic book shop. It was coming home with me there. But that crosses a fourth game off of Project PS2. So really happy about that. So Cold Fear is done. We went back to, my, uh, to a different City X. We went to a... Um, different one. <clears throat> Didn't find anything for the for, for the Project PS2 Creative Collection, unfortunately. But as I highlighted in the footage, two games were there that really, really intrigued me. They really did. And I bought one of them. And that game is Evergrace. Once again, a game that's not on my list, but an oddity that I was very intrigued by it because for one thing, it is made by From Software. A really early From Software title that's not Dark Souls, it's not Elden Ring, it's not, um, you know, uh, Kingsfield. It is a different game. Apparently it's a underrated gem. Apparently people really enjoyed this one. Yeah, so I just thought to myself, you know what? From Software, PS2, it could be rubbish, but from all accounts, it sounds like it could be a really fun little action RPG. There is another game from from software that i showed off in the footage i might have to go and get that as well at some point evergrace had to come home with me i was too intrigued by it um and yeah so that is that that is the uh result for episode one of project ps2 the first hunt is complete guys and uh yeah i think it's been a really successful day four titles we can cross off the creative collection list and we've got two extra titles like Evergrace titles that I just wanted to check out and obviously MDK2 is definitely a bonus because it's one of those titles you just forget that were on that was on the console and you're like holy shit I want that game in my collection let me know what you think about all these games in the comments down below and as always guys I will see you on the next episode let's continue to build a games collection